No one wants to open the door to their vehicle, turn the key, and not have the engine start up. Diesel engines, because of the way they function, have more issues with hard starting. We'll discuss some of the common culprits of hard starts today in the Amsoil Garage. This video is brought to you by Amsoil, the first in synthetics. Visit amsoil.com for more information. Hey everyone, I'm Greg Jones for Engine Builder, and today we're covering hard starting as it pertains to diesel engines. A diesel engine's biggest failure point when it comes to hard starts is crank speed. Cold temperatures and the wrong weight oil can also contribute to low crank speed, which doesn't allow compression to build up fast. The wrong oil can also impact the injector's ability to build fuel pressure. If your engine can't build fuel pressure very well, it's not going to start very well. The key to this equation are the glow plugs, and they are one of your bigger sources of failure for hard starts. Glow plugs are steel rods that sit in the combustion chamber that you put power to and they generate heat. If those glow plugs aren't working or you have a couple that aren't working, that additional temperature is what's needed in order to get a diesel engine to fire off. In a restart, you need to cycle the glow plugs and at times you may need to cycle the glow plugs more than once in order to get it to start. Another thing that leads to hard starting could be the fuel injectors. If a fuel injector pintle is sticking, and not opening when it's supposed to, it's not allowing fuel to come in and you'll have starting problems. If the fuel pintle is stuck open and it's just pouring fuel in, obviously you've got a couple holes that are now drowning in fuel, while the other holes are getting the right amount of fuel, and it's not lighting those holes when it should, which leads to starting issues. Improper compression can also lead to hard starts. If you've got head gasket problems and the engine isn't building compression like it should, or you've got valve guides that are sticking and not allowing your valve to open and close based on the cam when they should, you can't build compression when you're supposed to, so those can also be issues. But the biggest things are going to be injectors, crank speed, and glow plugs. To solve this, pairing the right oil viscosity with ambient temperature will promote the best crank speed. Diesel engines should be running 5W40s, 10W30s, or 0W40s in the winter, which all promote crank speed. As for the glow plugs, you're really not going to know that that's the issue until glow plugs don't work. Your indication is going to be poor starting and white smoke upon startup. From there, you'll just need to repair or replace the parts. The remedy for fuel injectors is fuel additives. Diesel owners should use fuel additives on an every tank basis. You need to add lubricity to the fuel to help protect the fuel pump. That lubricity is also to protect the pintle every time it opens and closes against the seat. If you don't have proper lubricity, it will prematurely wear out. When it does that, it's not going to open and close when it's supposed to, and it'll give you that hard start. The other piece to the hard start, if you have nozzle holes being plugged or the pintle sticking, you want to use detergents to keep it clean. Detergents keep the nozzle clean inside the combustion chamber, as well as the combustion chamber itself. It'll also keep internal diesel injector deposits off the pintle inside the injector, and be sure to use a detergent that is capable of cleaning both IDID deposits and carbon deposits off the nozzle. Amsoil offers a diesel injector clean to take care of those issues. Injectors are critical to your diesel engine, so you need to maintain them from a chemical side and from a fuel side. You can get hundreds of thousands of miles out of a set of injectors if you maintain them. But if you don't, the chances are pretty high that somewhere between zero and 100,000 miles, you're going to replace them. When injectors cost $800 to $900 per injector, running fuel additives in your fuel on an every tank basis is pretty cheap in comparison. Well, I hope that helps you identify what might be causing a hard start or what areas to ensure that you pay attention to so your diesel doesn't experience the problem. I'm Greg Jones for Engine Builder, and thanks for joining me in the Amsoil Garage.